much for coming today. And before I begin, I just want to thank Angela. By the year 2020, those of us in this room who do not have a, have a form of autism right now, we are going to be in the minority. Does that kind of rattle your cage a little bit? It rattles mine. First doctor I went to at Children's Hospital told me, your son fits into the autistic spectrum disorder. I heard autism. That's really all I heard. I didn't even know there was a disorder or a spectrum or <laughs> autism. Autism was what my son had. And that was a big capital letter word that scared the crap out of me. She continued, he'll need to be on Ritalin by first grade. I really didn't even know what Ritalin was. So what, so what now? I mean, what, what do I do next? And I asked her, what do we do now? And she looked at me, and I know this woman probably had said this a million times. She looked at me and just said, come back and see me in six months. Wrong answer. I need an answer right now, and I'm not coming back in six months. And I couldn't even say it. I picked up my son, and I couldn't even find my car in the parking lot. I mean, I was so confused and so... I will never forget that day. It was a nightmare. It was like living in a nightmare. It's like, you know, you, you think back to that day, and it's like this, this cloud comes around you, and everything went dark, and, and I thought, no. No, I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that answer. I'm going to find a better answer. Denial may have been the first emotional situation. It's not my child. All I ever wanted was to be a mother. And yet now I've got this child that's not right. Something's wrong. Uh, he's going to get over it. It's going to be allergies. It's going to be his personality. I have a new baby. He's reacting to the new baby. Whatever it was, I had every excuse a mother could possibly have. But life. And God made a big turn when my son was diagnosed. I really had no clue what to do, where to go, what the next step was. And so I began with my journey. 